Hello everyone and welcome back to Webtoon Ran. Today we've got the daughter of the Elemental King, and well, let's get right into it. This story is about a girl named Hayen, who has been brought up by rather nice foster parents in a very normal Korean household for a very long time. And now she's 17, she's doing completely fine, and she is, you know, good good, she's having a happy life. However, she's suddenly isekai'd in with this guy who claims to be her biological parent. And guess who he is? He is the elemental king of water, who is more or less a divine being who is literally the embodiment of all of the water in this fantasy world. And he is more or less what you could call a god. Now what are elementals? Elementals are like manifestations of the four elements, which are fire, earth, wind, and water, the traditional four, and they are kind of spirit beings that float around and make up the elements and they can and hum some special humans can form a connection with them and summon them to help them to do stuff. In this fantasy world, Hain is suddenly stuck under 500,000 meters under the sea with this really grouchy overprotective parent who obviously does not know 101 parenting and she basically just kind of stays there for a little bit. Then she learns how to harness her power so she can do stuff like this with these are by the way these are um some water spirits and they're like absolutely destroying the sea serpent and she learns how to utilize her powers and she kind of escapes from her dad's pretty overprotective house under like under the sea and uh, no pun intended and she kind of pretty much becomes the son oh well, by the way people think she's a guy because uh she she um all spirits are gender neutral so when she came into this world she became gender neutral, but she's inside, and at heart, she's a girl. And she, she kind of does a lot of random stuff, like she runs away, becomes a servant for a little bit, joins a freaking rebellion for a little bit, and then she goes on an adventure, even more adventures, finds out that she is actually a noble and actually an heir to a very famous family. And unfortunately, they think she's a guy as well. So she becomes the heir of that family, and joins the royal court and society and starts to go on missions as a royal knight because you know she's pretty powerful considering she can control water and use the power of different spirits which is really really cool and she is and also this is a great example of how overprotective her four elemental king parents are other than her actual parent but the other three who considers her their child you see Look at him, he's using an aura to kind of test out Hayen. And Hayen's like, oh shit, like, what, what's up? I'm, I'm about to die, this guy's really powerful, and she's like, just testing me out, and and I, I'm gonna die, so I need to use my abilities. And, and we gotta look at this. The freaking <laughs> Elemental Kings get so damn pissed off at him. And they're just yelling at him, saying that all freaking cut off his wings and kill him and roast him and dust him and fire and drown him and it's it's very funny and honestly this webtoon is very very wholesome and very very relaxing honestly there isn't that many stakes considering the main character is immortal and is protected by four different super powered overpowered beings who are gods and she's more or less immortal considering that and she herself, without her parents, is also very, very powerful. Like, for example, even if a country decided to kill her, who is stronger, a country or four divine gods who will literally embody the earth, fire, water, and wind? I thought so. That's what I thought. <laughs> so, essentially, there are no stakes, almost zero stress except some minor dramatic squabbles, and we get to see this girl just go on the adventure of her life, meet friends, meet love, have fun and fight monsters with her abilities and kind of actually develop a parental relationship with you know her dad that she hasn't seen for 17 years is really wholesome and really cute and I, honestly i enjoyed this book too not because it has you know an amazing story or phenomenal themes or something awesome and like something that's unimaginable and irreplaceable but because it's healing and it's relaxing and it's kind of a nice cool break in like a pond uh very much pun intended <laughs> um in a very hard day so i'll give this webtoon a c tier 
purely because, I mean, considering, like, the complete lack of plot and all of those things, it really should be a D or E tier. However, I ranked it up to a C just because it's really wholesome and it is very, very relaxing. So it can be a nice little escape from reality. And that's pretty much it. I would recommend this if you need a little bit of a break from reality and a little break from intense, high-paced stories. And yeah, that's about it. It's a very wholesome story. Like always, goodbye. See you in the next Webtoon Rant. Have a great day, everyone. Goodbye.